Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very nice indices problem. Here the question is 7 raised to x plus 7 raised to x plus 7 raised to x plus 7 raised to x is equals to 49. Now in this kind of a scenario a lot of people don't understand that directly at this point you should take log. You can but things become very very tricky. So let's try and simplify this as much as possible and then let's get back to the log if needed. Okay. So so here what we can do first is we'll take 7 raised to x common. So we are left with what 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is equals to 49. So now this eventually looks like 7 raised to x into 4 is equals to 49. Now since we want to find the value of x, we'll try to keep the variable on one side and the uh, numbers on another side. For that, we will divide both sides by 4. So, this eventually looks like 7 raised to x equals to. Now, see, understand. 49 upon 4 can be written as what? 7 square upon 4 square. Right? So, this can be written as 7 upon 2 the whole square. But now, after this, we are stuck. Okay? So, now, at this point, we will use log on both sides. So now on your LHS, we will apply the rule of log of A raised to M. Wherever there is an index, you take the index ahead and multiply the rest of the log. Okay. So here also this will look like X log of 7 equals 2. Here also 2 is the index. So we will take it as 2 ahead. And then we will have log of 7 upon 2. Now remember log of A upon B can be written as log of A minus log of b so this will be written as log of 7 minus log of 2 this whole thing will get multiplied by 2 now after this we again want to value find the value of just uh, x so we'll divide both sides by log 7 so this is okay please understand here you can't directly cancel this no because there is a subtraction sign involved so here what we can do max is we will try and split it. So we will have 2 times log 7 upon log 7 is 1 minus log 2 upon log 7. Okay. If they have not provided you with the log table, this is where you can leave your answer. Or you can also write this as nothing but what x equals to 2 times 1 minus log of 2 to the base 7. Now why like that? Because when you have log of A upon log of B, that can be written as log of A to the base B. Okay, so this is one way of writing. But if they have given us the log table, then let's try and put down the values. So we will say x equals to 2 times 1 minus log 2 value is what? 0 0.301 upon log 7 value is 0 0.854 okay so this now becomes x equals to 2 times 1 minus division of this decimal comes out to be 0 0.356 so this is what 2 into 1 minus 0 0.356 is what 0. 644 so value of x comes down to 1.244 okay and that if you go back and check your actual question you will realize that here if i take the value of x as 1 we get what 4 times 7 that gets some, something like 28 and if I take the value of x as more than 1, which can be 2, so we will get what 49 into 4. That itself is much higher than 49. So by default, when looking at this particular question only, you should have realized that the value of x will lie between 1 and 2. Okay. So this is something which is very, very important for you all, at least from the perspective of entrance levels. Okay, so in your auctions, they have given, directly given you values. Then you can understand that your value will lie between some 1 and 2. So it will be 1 point something something. 
and if not if they have given you the values or, or the options in this format then you will have to use the method which i just showed okay i hope this is very very clear to everyone that's it for today i will see you in the next video